Hi, this is Kenneth Barnes. I'm going to be showing you how to edit registry values in Windows Vista. I already have the screen open for time purposes, but click on Start. Click in the search box here. Type Reg. Edit. No spaces, no capitals. And click on regedit.exe. And this will pop up. Okay, what you see here, this is called the Hive. HP local classes is uh, basically the format that the programs are in for the software on your computer. Let's so can read everything. Um, HP current user, uh, this saves the data and uh, values for the current user that's logged into the computer. <coughs> HP local machine is hardware and software values and uh, HP users. This saves the data from like different users that log in and out of the computer. Uh, HP current config is software configuration and uh, system configuration for your computer. Um, I'm going to be showing you a simple beginner's uh, registry edit. It's a pretty nice one though. Um, it'll speed up the time it takes for your computer to shut down. Okay, what you want to do is locate HP local machine and click the drop down arrow beside it. Then in this, find system, click the drop down. And then you want to find current control set, click the drop down, and then find control. Do not click the drop down, just single click on control. And here's your values. Um, you want to find wait to kill service timeout. Right click on it and click modify. Now whenever this opens, this is the value you're going to be editing. It will say 20,000. Mine's already edited from before. This is the time it takes. Uh, your computer will wait a little bit before it starts ending processes and uh, waits a little too long in my opinion. Um, the lowest preset for this is uh, 6,000. You can set it below 6,000, but you might get uh, memory errors and start losing data. So I always set mine 2,000 above the lowest maximum, which is 6,000. So I set mine to 8,000. I've had it like that for a few months and I haven't had any problems with it, but whenever you do this, then you click start, shut down, and um, you'll notice a big difference in your shutdown time. And it comes in handy too, like if you get an error or something and you have to restart your computer, having it shut down just makes everything a lot faster. And now I'm going to show you another tip. It's, this one's pretty nice too. You go into the search box and start, hit MS, config, no spaces, no capitals, <coughs> then click on msconfigexe, now when this window pops up, you can click on boot, and this is also a pretty nice hack right here, this will really speed things up. Right here where it says timeout, this will say 30 for you. That's the default. You you can set it the whole way down to 3. I wouldn't go any lower than 3. And then uh, check mark no GUI boot, which um, whenever your computer boots, it has a log file and it logs everything it does while your computer is booting. That takes up time and there's really no need for it. So click on new GUI boot, that will speed things up. And then uh, click advanced options, numbers of processors. You, if you have a dual core, you can pick two. This is the amount of processors it will use whenever your computer starts up. Uh, I only have one, so I can only pick one. But uh, if you have a quad core, you can pick four. That will make everything faster. Then check mark maximum memory. It will use all the RAM whenever it starts up makes things quicker. You click OK. Okay. And then after you pick no GUI boot, 
everything uh, go up to the top again and click on services and this is all the services the computer runs whenever it starts up so you don't want to mess with any Microsoft services because they might be important so check mark hide all Microsoft services and then these are the ones that you have installed um, click disable all and then just go through look for your uh, this is really important uh, just look for your virus protection mine's a VAS so I have all the VAS check mark so that they run whenever the computer starts up you always want your um, virus protection to start with your computer and uh, everything else here is pretty much obsolete so you don't really need it and then um, when you're done with that click on the startup tab and you want to click disable all and now you go through you look for the things you need like uh, this is my star dock it's not on right now but I use it a lot so I have it start up with my computer if you have AOL uh, you can check mark that I don't really use it that often so and then um, these two say Microsoft so I'm just going to check mark them and then this is my virus program so I want it so check mark it and then you push apply ok and uh, when this comes up you want to hit restart and then whenever your computer turns on again it will show another box like this you just check mark to not show this box again and then ok but, um, I'm going to hit back to it without restarting because I'm recording this and it will mess up my recording so I hope you have fun with these hacks your computer should run a lot faster like this um, thanks for watching